determining equivalent resistance of two resistors connected in parallel. Aim To determine the equivalent resistance of two resistors when connected in parallel. Apparatus Materials Principles or Theory Precautions Procedure Label the given resistors as R1 and R2. Draw a circuit diagram showing R1 in series with a rheostat, a DC milliampere, a plug key, a battery eliminator and a DC voltmeter connected across R1. Connect all the components according to the circuit diagram and switch on the circuit. Set the regulator of the variable DC power supply to obtain a low PD, say 6 volts, Switch on the current and gently adjust the slider of the rheostat to allow a current of small magnitude to pass through R1. Note down the readings of the two meters and then switch off the current. Observations and Calculations For potential difference 6 volts, a current of 50 milliamperes that is 0 0.05 amperes flows through the circuit. Calculate the value of R1 by applying Ohm's law. Here R1 is equal to 6 upon 0 0.05 is equal to 120 ohms. Procedure Obtain one more set of readings by applying different value of PD, say 8 volts. Switch off the current. Observations and calculations For potential difference 8 volts, a current of 70 milliamperes, that is 0 0.07 amperes, flows through the circuit. Now, calculate the value of R1 by applying Ohm's law. Here, R1 is equal to 8 upon 0 0.07 is equal to 114.29 Ohms. Procedure Replace R1 with R2 in the circuit and switch on the current. Adjust the rheostat whenever necessary and obtain two sets of readings by applying different values of PD. Observations and Calculations for potential difference 6 volts, a current of 75 milliamperes, that is 0 0.075 amperes, flows through the circuit. Now, calculate the value of R2 by applying Ohm's law. 
for the first set of readings R2 is equal to 6 upon 0 0.075 is equal to 80 ohms. For potential difference 8 volts, a current of 105 milliamperes, that is 0 0.105 amperes, flows through the circuit. Now, calculate the value of R2 by applying Ohm's law. For the second set of readings, R2 is equal to 8 upon 0 0.105 is equal to 76.19 ohms. Now, calculate the mean values of R1 and R2. Mean value of R1 is equal to 120 plus 114.29 the whole divided by 2 is equal to 117.145 ohms. Mean value of R2 is equal to 80 plus 76.19 the whole divided by 2 is equal to 78.09 ohms. Procedure Draw a circuit diagram showing R1, R2 in parallel along with a voltmeter. All the other devices are connected in series. Connect all the devices according to the approved circuit diagram and switch on the current. Proceed as before to obtain two different sets of readings and record them. Then switch off the current. Observations and Calculations For potential difference 6 volts, a current of 125 milliamperes, that is 0 0.125 amperes, flows through the circuit. For potential difference 8 volts, a current of 140 milliamperes, that is 0 0.140 amperes, flows through the circuit. Calculate the equivalent resistance Rp of the two resistors in parallel. For the first set of readings, Rp is equal to 6 upon 0 0.125 is equal to 48 ohms. For the second set of readings, Rp is equal to 8 upon 0 0.140 is equal to 57.14 ohms. Mean value of R1 and R2 for the two sets of readings in parallel is equal to Rp is equal to 48 plus 57.14 the whole divided by 2 is equal to 52.57 ohms. Therefore, 1 upon Rp is equal to 1 upon 52.57 is equal to 0 0.0190 that is approximately 0 0.02. To verify that 1 upon Rp is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 is equal to 1 upon 117.145 plus 1 upon 78.09 is equal to 0 0.0213 that is approximately 
zero point zero two. From one and two, one upon R P is equal to one upon R one plus one upon R two. Procedure. Disconnect the devices. Inference. The reciprocal of equivalent resistance of two resistors in parallel is equal to the sum of reciprocals of the values of the individual resistors. That is, one upon R P is equal to one upon R one plus one upon R two. Conclusions or results.